Uh, I've been a fan of Joni Mitchell's music for uh, for some time. Uh, the beautiful melodies, obviously her lyrics are so fabulous as well. There's an emotional depth within her music, which is which I think is quite rare. Uh, I arrived at the table of Joni Mitchell appreciation quite late. I was 25 years old uh, and uh, I was living in Italy, in Rome, and that was when my daughter was born. So the first six months of her life was absolutely filled by uh, the beautiful music of Joni Mitchell. That's one of the reasons why uh, it's, it's, it's always had a special place for me. Roger Spence from the Edinburgh Jazz and Blues Festival asked me if there was any projects that I particularly would like to do and so the, the Joni Mitchell project immediately sprang to mind so we performed at that for the first time at the 2019 Edinburgh Jazz and Blues Festival. Uh, it was fabulous fun. We played at the Spiegel tent, it was a sellout and it, uh, it went down particularly well and everybody at the end of the concert was saying when are you going to record this? And I said, I have no idea. But fortunately, uh, a fan came up at the end and said that he was willing to fund it. And, uh, and that's how it all happened.
So the quartet are uh, Dave Milligan on piano and uh, arrangements, Callum Gurley on double bass, and Alan Kosker on drums. Uh, absolutely my three favourite uh, musicians. Uh, very skilled and very sensitive musicians. Um, and when I spoke to them about uh, this project, they were really excited. As it turned out, they're all massive Joni Mitchell fans, which certainly helps. <laughs> I have many favourite uh, Joni Mitchell songs. Uh, I guess I particularly like the album Blue. There's an emotional depth, uh, which is just quite uh, uh, mind blowing. And uh, so, yeah, so that, and the title track Blue is just beautiful. So we play that on the album. Um, I also particularly love the album Hegira. It has its, its own, um, again, it's, it's, it's so original. It has its own sound, it's particularly, uh, emotional as well, uh, yeah, and the title track, Hijira, is beautiful. It uh, can be quite difficult music to interpret. Uh, so in Hijira, for example, Joni's, she's almost uh, talking as much as she is singing. Uh, so it was a real challenge to uh, interpret that, but we did our best. <laughs> While deciding which tunes to play on the album, I listened to everything she's ever recorded. Um, but my favourites still remain the, 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 the music from her first eight or nine years, starting particularly with the album uh, Clouds, uh, the album Blue and Hijira as well. Um, the lyrics are so important uh, with Joni Mitchell. So. Obviously, we're playing the music instrumentally, so it's quite uh, quite a challenge to uh, be able to, to transform that musically. So what I quite often uh, find found that I was doing was while playing, I'm literally singing uh, her melody, singing her lyrics into the trumpet, and I don't know if that's if you can hear that at all, but uh, it's certainly the the process. Mm -hmm. 